All right, Skill Crusher, are you ready to make your HTML look super fly? Welcome to the world of cascading style sheets, otherwise known as CSS. CSS takes your boring old HTML and makes it look awesome. So let's dive in and take a look at some CSS and see how it works. So this is CSS. If it could talk, it would say something like, for all the H1 headers, the color is black and the text should be aligned in the center. And for all the paragraphs, let's use the font family Arial and let's make the text 14 pixels. That's because the primary way to write CSS is to describe HTML tags. All my P's are like this, all of my H3's are like that, and all of my UL tags are like this. The big idea with CSS is that you use it to tell your browser how to display all of that HTML that you've been busy writing. It's sort of like instructions. In fact, come to think of it, pretty much all you do as a web developer is write the computer instructions. So if you want all of your text to be 120 pixels in bright pink, then you better tell your browser that that's what you're looking for. CSS allows you to do that. All right, fair enough. but. What are all these bits of code and what exactly are they doing? What we see here is a CSS selector, which tells the computer what HTML element it's describing. In this case, we're looking at the elements for a top level header, an H1, and a basic paragraph, a P. Notice that the greater than and less than HTML brackets are missing. If they were there, the CSS wouldn't work. Below it, in between the two curly braces, are a list of descriptions, or CSS properties. Each property has two parts, a name and a value. Each property has its own line, and typically it's written like this, property name, colon, property value, semicolon. Your CSS document will be made of lots of little code blocks like this, all stacked on top of one another. That's because for every HTML element you use, you should create a little bit of CSS to go with it. As you can imagine, there are a ton of CSS properties out there. But just like with HTML, you don't need to memorize them all. In fact, there are places that list all of the CSS properties available to you everywhere. And this week, you're gonna be learning about the most important CSS properties and how you can use them to build yourself a beautiful website.